Okay, I'm going to show you how the horse's suspension system works, how it has to have a frog stay. And what happens is um, the heels get trimmed out of the foot and it strips the frog stay out of the foot. This is the frog stay right here, what's between there. Um, if you don't have it, your heels uh, contract. Okay, now the digital cushion is right up above here goes from over in here all across here in the bulbs area all right and underneath the frog it's frog shaped okay now you got to have this frog stay here so what you have is you have your digital cushion which cushions the bulb here and right in here it it's up underneath the navicular bone and the deep digital flexor tendon so that uh, the deep digital flexor tendon and the navicular bone have a cushion all right now what happens is when the the horse's pastern when the horse's pastern descends right here when this descends between these two it spreads the collateral cartilage is here and then it pushes down onto the frog stay which then has to have a little bit of room to just go like that see that just a little bit of room to go like that um, that's why you gotta have a little room uh, for your frog to grow and uh, you gotta have the right amount of heel height okay so we're gonna I'm gonna show you here I'm not very strong I'm trying to press this down here see now you see how that moves let's do it again ah. there we go see how that descends and pushes that down okay now see the object is to grow your heels so that your frog corium has enough height to grow some frog and what's been going on is that the heels have been being lowered so that the frog can have ground contact because they totally misunderstand the wild horse's foot anatomically and so they have looked at the exterior of that foot and they have tried to mimic what it looks like without really understanding the anatomy of the internal foot and then you know they just kind of make up their anatomy as they go along what I'm showing you here which I'll show you in some other videos is a correct foot now this foot I trimmed the heels out of it for years and she had no frog well it looked like frog but wasn't she was down on her frog corium um, I need to show you what a frog corium looks like so hold on Well, I get another foot. That's water. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting me a slimy old foot here. I gotta dry off. Yep, yep, yep. Flies are liking me today. Yes, sir. These flies are liking me. Okay. Now, here you got two feet. I need something to hold this one foot up, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it'll stay up. Okay. This foot here has no frog stay. Most barefoot Tims trim the heels so low. See how the heels are just right on the ground there? Most barefoot trims trim the heels so low that it strips this frog stay ah, right here out of the foot. Okay, you see how closed that is? Okay, if it was like this, just a minute. Hold still, little footy. 
Okay, if there was a frog stay in there, this would be wide like that. Say so I'm having a hard time pulling it apart now. See that? That's ah. See, shaky old lady. See that? Frog stay would be growing from inside of there. And it would be pushed wide apart like that. <sighs> okay. Okay, without it, your horse is just on his bulbs. See that? On his bulbs. That's not the way the foot is supposed to be. But this is most barefoot horses. They just got a thin, thin layer of sole in them heels and no frog stay. See, and so this descends onto the digital cushion and it just squashes the digital cushion. It was never meant to do that. That frog stay has to be there. Oh, wait a minute. See the difference? Descends onto the digital cushion, which is constantly pushing back up. Loads it under pressure right there. And then it hits the frog stay. And then they just kind of kiss the ground. Wait a minute. Let's get a close up. See, I... I, all by myself here, finding it hard to demonstrate, but you get the idea. See the frog stay move down and push the ground? And as it does that, okay, it pushes these bulbs apart too, okay? And so the back of this foot expands out just a hair so that when it hits the ground, it's open. And then it squeezes shut and lifts off. So it's like grabbing the ground. Like tiger paw tires. I don't know if anybody ever remembers those. They, they uh, grab the road. Tiger paws, they were called. Okay, so that's how the foot works. Again. Okay, here's. Okay, wish I could keep that up, but I can't. Look, okay, here's the pastern. Right here, there's your pastern. When your horse moves, this descends down like that. Okay, I can't do it very good. But this bone descends clear between this cartilage, clear down here to where it's just like that. And, and the ankle here can descend to, uh, practically to the ground. Okay, so you can imagine then with this frog stay what the back of that foot does. See, but as I said, most barefoot horses got this going on. They haven't got a decent frog. And one thing can be mistaken for the other. And that's what's going on. Okay, so again, I can't do this very good. I'm just a kind of a weak old lady. But we'll get, let's see. You see, just me doing a little bit makes it go down. You see that? And yeah, okay, I got some cuts there. But guess what? That all stretches. And that's all under pressure. And so, oh man, I wish I could, just doing a little bit, you can see how it works. You know, if I was strong enough to make it really go down, You'd see those heels widen a bit, you know, as that frog is pushed down. You know, now with my finger, I can come in here, you know, and push it down. See it? That's how it's meant to work. To flatten out and come back up, push back up. See, that's why this thing has an arch in it right here. So it will maintain its shape. Okay, but what do we got over here? We got nothing. 
Nothing. And that's what most barefoot horses are on, and that's why they're lame. That's why they need boots. Got a new kind of boot, the Evo boot. And really what it does, I looked at the design of it. It, uh, rep it gives the horse uh, bulbs and heels to land on that have been trimmed out by barefoot trimming. Again, here's your typical barefoot trim. If you just put a little skin on that and a little hoof wall on the sides, there you go. Bulbs right on the ground, just crushing them, crushing them, crushing them. See that? See, no frog stay to hit. And then uh, what happens is they're so, they just don't understand the anatomy. There's been so many mistakes, and the reason is because one piece of anatomy often looks like another. Just a minute, let me get something to bring that camera up. I think I've done 12 minutes and I need to stop. Oh, we're at 11. Okay. Okay, you see the central, the central sulcus of the, the frog corium here? Okay, when the heels are trimmed out and the frog stay is out, let me get back up a ways. Okay, I should shorten up that leg. So you got a central sulcus here, but it's a frog that is very thick it's grown right up in between those bulbs right there. See? Okay. And you got here a foot with no frog stay growing from inside there. And, uh, hmm. So, what happens is when you trim the heels out, and I'll say it again, it literally pulls the heels forward, the hoof, hoof capsule forward, and the coronary bend forward and as it's doing so it just peels the frog right out of this foot and so then what people are looking at is just a frog corium with a little bit of frog on it dry frog on it and they think they're looking at the same thing as this right here which is the central sulcus of the frog that is shaped similar to that only thing is this thing one way you can tell the difference is this is closed up at the end and you'll see all these horses just got this big crease right here. There's nothing closing up the end because they ain't got no frog really. And so um, they're walking like this. See? They're walking like that. Crushing those bulbs when they're supposed to be up off the ground by about that much. With big thick frog stand there. So that when... When this goes down, it press it onto that frog stay, and then the frog stay presses to the ground. See there? The difference? Okay, that ought to do it.